the wolf is the first animal we ever associated with. Our partnership with wolves starts over 130,000 years ago. Everywhere in the world where there have been wolves, the native peoples refer to them as the great teacher. And there's a very deep reason for that. A lot of things that us humans know today as far as family structure, work structure, friendships, things like that came from the wolves. I remember the moment where I realized this could work. And it was with a 13-year-old from foster care system. She had been beat in the face by a dog when she was a kid, four or five years old. And since then, she was terrified of dogs. Her therapist brought her over to just do a safe introduction. So we began taking a little stroll, you know, being 20 or 30 feet apart. And then slowly, this girl started approaching and walking closer and closer and closer. Within 20 minutes, she was kneeling down and this wolf was actually licking her face. And, and she was smiling and she was in tears. At that moment, I thought, wow, <laughs> this is true healing. This is how healing looks like. It's not forced. It just happens organically, and at that point I recognized the depth of these animals, I mean, the power they had to engage young people from challenged backgrounds. Here at Wolf Connection, we are the only youth empowerment programs using wolves and wolf dogs as a centerpiece. A lot of our animals come to us abused, mistreated, abandoned, and have a lot of issues that way. Each of our animals has an energy and a personality type that doesn't make them suitable for certain homes and they've moved from home to home to home. These kids get that. They've been through the same thing. These are kids out of prison or they've been expelled from all the local high schools so they have nowhere else to attend school. So when they get here and they hear the stories of the animals without us asking them about their stories, they tend to relax a little bit more and connect and talk about the animal story. It's a much easier conversation to have with them. What the wolves have is a, a calming effect. Without saying anything, their body language, the way they, they treat people is like, it's okay, you know, it's, you're gonna be okay, you're gonna be fine. And when young people come in touch with these animals, they, they drop into a primal level it's beneath all the hurt, pain, abandonment, resentments that they may have. So all of a sudden they are regular kids again and they can start learning again and they can start collaborating again and playing again. From there then you know the journey starts. We look for animals that are ready for that change so we help give them that opportunity to grow and overcome whatever it is that they are imprinted with any kind of negativity and combat it with positive reinforcement so really giving them a lot of love a lot of attention giving them a pack to live with not just the animals but people and also give them that time and that respect. Because if you give them that respect, they'll give it back to you. There's a profound healing that takes place. And I think part of the reason for that success is the deep connection between humans and canines. You see young people that they believe that they can't do anything. I'm not good enough trying new things and learning new skills. People that are completely shut down, that are, you know, all of a sudden they begin expressing themselves and realizing that their voice has value, their voice has power. Wolf Connection works, in my opinion, because we are having a message. And this message is of connectivity and communication between humans and the world around us. The ranch here is about slowing down for a moment and beginning to connect with an animal that has been a partner to us for, for thousands of generations. We're trying to demonstrate a, um, a better way of living for all humanity. <laughs>